Hi friends welcome back to my other After Effects tutorial. Today I am going to create this. Let's jump into After Effects. First of all create new composition by hit Compicon and press OK. Right click on Timeline, New, Solid Layer. I am using this solid layer as background layer. So I rename it as BG. And press OK. Then select the ellipse tool and double click on it. Increase the mask feather value to 675. Lock the background layer. Now the time to import logo PNG file. Just double click on project panel select logo file and import. Drag and drop this logo to timeline then change the size. Right click on logo layer and go for pre-compose. Here select move all attributes into the new composition, and rename it as logo then press OK. Duplicate this layer by shortcut Ctrl D. Hide the bottom layer. Now search for CC Ball Action Effect in Effects and Presets. Drag and drop it on top logo layer. Move current time indicator to 2 seconds. Here press stopwatch on scatter and rotation for animation keyframes and change the rotation axis as Z axis. Move current time indicator to starting point. Here change the scatter value to 500. Rotation value minus 2. Let's see the preview once. Stopwatch on grid spacing and change the value to 0 at starting point. Then go to 2 seconds here I change it to 1. Now the time for ball size. Stopwatch on ball size at 1 second. Then go to starting point and change to 200. Unhide the bottom layer and hide the top layer. Now search for CC lens effect in effects and presets. Drag and drop it on bottom logo layer. Split the top layer to 2 seconds. Then change the size value to 0 in CC lens effect. Stopwatch on size at 2 seconds. Move current time indicator to 1 second. Here change the size value to 400. Unhide the top logo layer. Select the second layer and hit U. Change the last keyframe position. Now select all these keyframes and press F9 for easy ease, it's for smooth animation. Finally I need some blur. So I search for CC Force Motion Blur effect. Drag and drop it on top and bottom logo layers. Change the motion blur samples value to 100 in both layers. Now the time for preview and final result. Thank you and need your support.